Hey, what's up, guys? So, we're gonna remove the cover by unlocking those tabs. Turn it counterclockwise to unlock them, guys, and uh, you can pull that cover up. Just like so, guys. Okay. Alright, so this is a 3.2 VTEC uh, Honda engine, Acura engine. It's similar. Anyway guys, so that connector has to be disconnected, that uh, hose clamp has to be uh, loose and the clamps, that hose has to be removed and remove two bolts for that uh, evap canister birch valve and do that connector and do that hose and the uh, small hose connected uh, next to that and that bolt and we're gonna remove this cover all those bolts and the yeah. center bolts there has to come out in order to access the uh, the platinum bolt so remove the connector and that hose too okay we're ready guys so we're gonna do all the connectors uh, remove the hose so uh, do that clamp push that hose out and uh, we're gonna remove that EVAP canister bridge valve two bolts Okay guys, uh, in this uh, portion of the video, uh, you'll see the hose connected to the valve cover, valve cover. Um, that's the hose you have to remove in order for you to easily uh, remove the uh, airbox intake duct. In order for you to remove the throttle body all right guys so i'm um, just trying to remove the uh, bridge valve solenoid uh, bolts that would be uh, those two 10 mil bolts and up next we're probably going to remove the air box there you go guys so i'm pulling that air box out so if you remove that hose connected to the uh, valve cover it's the rear valve cover guys all right guys so if you remove that hose in the valve cover connected to this air dock uh, hose uh, you won't have to struggle removing the bolts and nuts for the throttle body and also removing the throttle body off uh, this air dock air box all right for this air box uh, loosen four eight mil bolts and then start popping it off actually you'd have to remove that cover in front of it in order for you to remove it out of there just like so there you go guys then you can start pulling the whole uh, air box and the air dock together as you can see here I didn't remove the hose connected to the valve cover that's why I'm struggling to move that whole air duct out of the way in order for me to remove the throttle body. So keep in mind guys, remove that hose once again. Remove the hose when you're removing that air duct so you won't have any problem undoing the bolts and nuts for the throttle body guys. Okay, so there's uh, two nuts and two bolts for the throttle body you have to uh, remove guys. You can see I'm struggling. Uh, yeah, I'd have to like use my other hand to uh, move that out of the way in order for me to undo those bolts and nuts. So.
right, so I have a little bit of axe to get those two bolts on the rear side of the trial body. There you go, and uh, we'll, get, we'll get that out shortly. Um, the trick to uh, separate the throttle body from the uh, bottom uh, is by using a self based hammer just by tapping the uh, throttle body uh, lightly and it should uh, come off easily sometimes they're stuck together and the gasket will get stick to the bottom or vice versa so uh, best way to do it is just uh, tap it with a self paced hammer but, you know. I didn't have to use it in this case because uh, it was already popping up as I'm undoing the bolt so I didn't to uh, do, the, do the tapping method Alright guys, so yeah, uh, undo the scroll bolts and nuts. There you go guys. I have to uh, struggle and make its way out because of that air box aired off. So guys, so we're gonna remove the cover for the bolts of the plenum. We're gonna do that those 10 mil bolts all around that cover order for us to access those uh, bolts for the plenum. Before that guys, uh, remove the hose that's connected to the plenum, uh, particularly that hose there I'm removing, there's also one in the rear there, and the bolts, the more bolts, there's actually uh, one big hose connected to the plenum in the rear of this plenum, and the small hose, that's the big hose. And the small one is right next to it. It will be on the left side of the screen. Alright guys. Alright guys, guys, that's the 10 mil bolt. So undo that. Undo the, these bolts. I'm loosening. There's also one in the center there that I forgot to loosen.
Okay, guys. All the bolts are out, so we're just gonna that work. All right, guys. So those are the bolts. There's two nuts. Those are bolts. Those are bolts. Those are bolts. Nuts, bolts. There's two 10 mil right there on the far right. On the bottom, you don't have to do it. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to focus on my camera. There you go. It's kind of hard to find the right angle and position for the camera here, so I'm just struggling. Alright, there you go guys. Okay, so we're gonna remove the bolts and the nuts uh, for this plenum and uh, we're ready to remove the plenum afterwards and don't forget to remove that 10 mil bolt there on the right hand side of the plenum. Alright guys, we're ready to remove the upper intake plenum. So we're gonna remove the 10 mil bolts and work your way upward to get that plenum out. There you go guys. Uh, make sure you cover those uh, intake cylinders to avoid any debris that can get in there. Anything rags whatever you have there guys and uh, this will be the end of the video and part two of the video will be in the description all right guys thanks for watching guys and by the way that's a seven mil uh, hex socket that i'm going to use for the coils all right thanks for watching guys